We're joined here on uh, Shrimps Player by manager Jim after the 2 0 away success at Hartlepool. Jim, my first question six changes, yet you come away with the 2 0 win. That's pretty brave. It's brave, but it's a big ask for the players to play two games in two days. You know, uh, lack of recovery. You know, can you expect a, a 39 year old player coach who's put a lot of hard work in the previous game to, to come back out? Same with Kevin Ellison. You know, always runs his heart out every game. Is he capable of playing another 90? Um, you know, Bailey come off a bit of cramp the other day. Jamie Devitt certainly did. He's missed a lot of football recently. Uh, we've known in the past Alex Kenyon's just dipped a little bit in the second game if we play Saturday to Tuesday. And the only other one's Posic Hammond. He's quite, um, you know, he might have been able to go, but I just thought Mullen and uh, Redshaw chomping at the bit. Uh, and as it was, it worked well. I think, um, you know, Jack's got the two goals. But right throughout the team, young Adam McGowan's come in and uh, been superb at right wing back. You know, up against the trickiest player, in my opinion, and Franks as well. And then they switch him onto the other side or down the middle. And they bring uh, Compton on, who's a very good player as well. So uh, for an 18 year old, he's done exceptionally well there. I thought he was robust, he was strong in the tackle, he never got beat. He got forward well, he passed well. So, uh, you know, credit to him and Tom McCready as well. In the middle of the park, you know, for his first uh, start this season, uh, he can, you know, hold his head up high as well. So. I think, um, yeah, it was a gamble, and probably it could have uh, it could have backfired. We could have lost the game, and then everyone goes, "Why did you make six changes?" I've always said I'm not always going to get it right, you know. But I did made the changes for the right reasons. You know, two games in less than 48 hours early when you look at the kickoff time. Uh, and the finishing time of the previous game, uh, and you've got to have trust in your squad. You know those lads are on the bench over the festive period there. They were looking at it, thinking I'd love to get a game and, and get on and show what I can do. We've just lost two on the spin, one nil. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the performances, but it's just that final little bit. Um, you know to get get our wins. Um, the other thing is, if you don't win them, you, t- you try and draw them. And, you know, that for me, we haven't drawn enough games when we should have this season. Carlisle being one of them the other day. But uh, as you say, we made the changes. We've come up trumps. We were quite solid. Um, I thought, you know, some of our play to start with was excellent. A um, couple of good, decent chances. They've had one or two. I think Scott's made two saves in the first half. Their keepers made a couple. Uh, second half, you know, warned them what was going to happen. Uh, the report from their game against Mansfield at the weekend was that they were pretty poor. Uh, in the first half, but they come out, you know, all guns firing in the second half and got a deserved draw, and maybe could have gone on and won it. So, you know, we warned the lads about that, but for one reason or another, you know, we dropped deep. Whether it's a psychological psychological effect of what happened there last season, but I don't think Scott Davis made a save second half. They had all the momentum, the crowd got behind them. You know, they had a right good goal for the manager, but um, you know, really didn't threaten us. Uh, our shape looked good. We defended when we had to. Uh, and luckily we hit them on the break a couple of times and when Jack got in off a little slip off the centre half of uh, Cavello's flick on he's got in and put it to bed and you know, that's crazy. The main difference between the two sides on the day really was Red Shaw's finishing, wasn't it? Well, that's it. I mean there wasn't many chances in the game, was there? You know, we were strong away from home, you know, limited them to very little. Uh, we didn't, you know, gotta do more probably going forward, but I think we started well and we threatened. And then the pitch cut up, it was quite heavy, yeah. uh, and it became a, a bit bobbly, and we couldn't slick it down like we did in the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So uh, I was pleased the way we started, I was pleased the way we started the other day as well. Yeah. But uh, the difference today is that we got our nose in front. Uh, I think if we would have got our nose in front against Carlisle, we would have won that game. And the first goal at any level is massively important. Thankfully, we got it today. We rode the storm out when it came along at the start of the second half, we defended well, a uh, little bit more. The decision making's got to be better, but you know, again, there's quite a few changes in there, and yeah. you know, a little bit of inexperience. But uh, no credit where credit to you, they were exceptional today. You know, great hard in, you know, two 0 win away from home, clean sheet. I know Hartley Pool are at the bottom of the league, but you know, they're, they were a Division One club not so long ago. They've got good players, they've got a new manager, they've got that momentum. Yeah. They've taken two draws recently, so we knew it was going to be a tough game. As I said, the psychological effect of last season plays a part. Certainly, when you're one yeah. 0 up. Um, but as it was, we, we rolled it out and we got the uh, all important second goal which uh, put the games to bed. So, absolutely made up. So, there's uh, given, given that you were you were uh, you've gambled and made the changes, there were some good performances out there. So, you've got a bit of a headache for the new year, <coughs> new year game against Stevenage. Yeah, but again, two games in two days probably come a little bit too much for Lawrence Wilson. I'll be honest, if I had a left wing back, we could maybe go in because in that formation, Wilson and Bealey probably do the most running. Yeah. As I say, Bealey come off against Carlisle the other day and couldn't hardly walk. Do I go with him again with the with the uh, knowledge and the experience of his hamstring? 
and force him and, and run the risk, or do you put a little bit of faith in a young lad and give him a go and I thought yeah. it was superb. Exactly the same with Lawrence Wilson today, and now he's tweaked his hamstring, so we'll have to see if we can get him right. You know, it's a massive blow for us. Uh, as I said, if I had someone to come in there, it might have even changed that one because he got through an awful lot of running against Carlisle, but no, everyone's there to stake the claim today. As I said, I think the performance at uh, Shrewsbury away from home, you know, speaking to Mickey Mellon afterwards, he was very complimentary about us, you know, how we set up and how we frustrate and how we've got good players and how we can create chances. Uh, and we've done exactly the same today. I think performance-wise against Carlisle wasn't too bad, just that final yeah. little bit, final third, taking the chance, whatever it may be, a little bit of luck, um, you know, could have, could have easily won that game as well. So. It's football, there's ups and downs, but we've got to enjoy the ride, stick together like you always say. And uh, come the next game against Stevenage, we're positive, we'll have the momentum off the back of this game. There's, you know, there's places up for grabs and uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days and then we'll start getting prepared for that one and hopefully back this good win up with another one at home in front of our own home supporters and start the new year in good fashion. Well, yeah, it's a good way to end the old year and seeing the new with a win, Jim. So, happy new year to that and uh, carry it on against Stevenage. Thanks for talking to me. Cheers, Dave. Ha, 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 ha.